What's good, geezer gang? I hope everybody is fantastic. We are nicely and finally settled in Orlando here. It's been a week here, and I tell you what, it's been a bit all over the place for us. We've just found it hard kind of getting adjusted and really getting into our routine of days and keeping on top of things. But now, finally, after a week, we've got into a good routine, haven't we? Katie's yeah. down there. It's taken a while, hasn't it? Yes. But you got up this morning, you went to the gym, I did yoga. We, we were just like ready to start the day. And Jojo, we, we did some reading this morning as well, didn't we? Yeah, we really have just a week. I thought you were saying we've been reading a week. I don't know what you've been here a week. That's all we've done. We just read the whole week. We read the yeah, Harry just Potter. Read. And we were practicing. Should we show him what you're practicing? Because he got really into the Indiana Jones show the other day, which shows you all about how they do stunts in movies. He's been really interested in it. So let me show you what we've been doing. Would you like to give them a live demonstration? Yeah. So basically, what do you ask me to do? I ask you to like pretend to punch me. Okay, look. Oh my god, looked like I actually punched him. Are you okay? <laughs> Now our plans today originally were we were planning to go to Disney's Magic Kingdom for the whole day But these two are not even awake Look, not a peep I'm pretty sure too that they've both woken up this morning <laughs> and gone back to sleep I think we should just go down to breakfast without them and then Go to Magic Kingdom without them, that'd be hilarious if they just woke up, where are you? And then see what, see if they're awake when we come back up I'm hungry anyway, my yeah, stomach wakes for no person Let's just sleep and go down to breakfast And here's another one Stop! <laughs> I'll take my little hat off tokens here, just so I can play in the gaming room. Oh, you're, you're, you're taking tokens for the gaming room? Yeah. Yes, because it's right next to the breakfast room, isn't it? Oh, the yeah. Orlando sun's finally broken out. Tell you what, it was overcast this morning. I wasn't happy. You enjoying your melon, mate? Some green melon. You've got pineapple there as well. Yeah. Nice one. Mummy, green melon as well? Wait a minute, there seems to be some sort of problem here. Well, one thing that makes breakfast truly special isn't just the food and being tasty. It's a young lady called Burnett who works down here. Everyone here knows her. Everyone who's ever stayed here has mentioned her because she makes it a joy. It depends who you are. If you're a man, you're not safe. She will flirt with you. She will grind she, up against she you. She thinks Bob's sexy. <laughs> <laughs> she got eyes. The only woman in the world that thinks he's sexy. Oh, the only other woman. No, I'll, I'll, I'll turn the camera away and get you out of the shot there, shall I? Kids, she loves. Teenagers, not so much. Maybe I'll get her in the vlog later in the week. Aside from all the silliness, she looks after us and probably everyone else so much. She just deliberately went in the kitchen and made us loads of food. She just cooked all this. Oh, look at that whopper, man. What did you just say? <laughs> yeah, so she cooked all these potatoes and fried vegetables. Absolutely lovely. She didn't have to do that. Wait, stop taking stuff away from my shop. Nice, Jojo. Yeah. Breakfast all done. What are you up to, mate? Nice and carefully. I like put those holes there. That's so annoying. Oh. Now this game's amazing. If you get the small prize, it's a ball. If you lose, you get a ball. So we end up with just endless amounts of balls. How many have you got already? Three. Three balls. Yeah. Where are all the tokens gone? You've used all the tokens. How do you use the tokens that quickly? I just played it with gold. Just finished breakfast. We're just heading to the lake now. We always like to do this after breakfast. It's a really nice way to start the day, and it's so beautiful. The sun's low, and everything's bright and clear. This is what we love to come and see every morning. And there's a lovely little boy sat here waiting. Where are we? In our secret base. Secret base? Yeah. Cool. And this is one of the reasons we love coming here is the wildlife, all the fish swimming around, and this little dude. Hey, and the ducks are getting involved now. What are you feeding them there, mummy? Potato. It says, do not feed the wildlife. Life, but we can't help ourselves can we? I think if you feed them bread that's not good. Who's joined the party now? We've basically invited the whole of Orlando's wildlife here. And a big... Oh. Yeah oh, he's, oh, he's got a fish, he's got a fish. I was gonna say he's a fish catcher. Yeah we're not sure if these are turtles or terrapins. I'm not actually sure what these birds are called. If you happen to know though comment below. Finally we are on the way. We had to get two very lazy kids out of bed. Wait, well you, you were both asleep when we went to breakfast this morning. <laughs> and it took us about two hours to get out the door. We're one of these families where it's like we had the good intention of getting out the door quite soon and that just doesn't happen straight away. I let you off because you were working but everyone else was just tiddling yeah. around. But now we're actually off to Epcot not Magic Kingdom. But Jamie's gonna hop over to Magic Kingdom apparently. Jamie went to Epcot yesterday on her own but something fun that we're gonna do today is Jojo also is gonna meet Santa Claus aren't you? Oh! Even though he knows the truth about Santa. Yeah if you want to know why he knows the truth about Santa video up in the corner. <laughs> Now for many people that don't know about Epcot, it's one of Disney's parks, but it's about the world, it's about the future, it's about learning about different cultures. They've actually got a bit which is like going around the world in different cultures of the world. So it's really, really good for learning, especially for kids. It's perfect for homeschool kids, especially. Jojo's gonna really enjoy this because he doesn't remember what it was like last time. We go in, mate? Let's go. You're in. Through the portal.
You two have got to build a body. So Jojo was happy with just seeing Baymax from a distance. He didn't want to queue up. I guess we could just take a picture of Baymax and superimpose Jojo next to him like he really did meet him. It's a lot cheaper that way. Actually, it doesn't cost anything, does it? No, it doesn't <laughs> cost anything extra. You just have to queue up for ages. It costs time. Time is money. guys are away watching a show, we've been harvesting food. We've got a vegan korma, two vegan kormas, sort of flat bread, bread wrap with tofu in there. Jojo's munching on the right, beans and salad. Oh, that's some vigorous cucumber eating. <laughs> Living with the land, I like living with the land. Do you like living with the land? It was okay. It was a nice little boy journey for the food to go down. <laughs> I'm still stuck. No, I, I just went on the educational side of things. It's good yeah, that they're promoting okay. about, they talk about how to um, sustainable farming, mostly all about plants and how to effectively grow it. Yeah, man, they should encourage and teach people that stuff. Anyway, but now we're going to go flying or soaring around the world. They've neglected to have the G. They've gone for an apostrophe. So we just went on a ride called Soaring. What was that like? That was cool. There's a screen and it showed us like we were flying around the world, wasn't it? Yeah, but we didn't actually move. No. Nah. It's quite weird, really, because I, I feel like I do this a lot of you guys. I go, hey, we're at a theme park. We're going on a ride. And then all of a sudden, it's like, we're off the ride. What's that like? Comment below. Because sometimes you just can't film on the ride. It's just not allowed. Or it's just not practical. Jojo, are you ready to go see Santa? We went soaring around the world. And now we're going to just go around the world. I'm confused. We're still in America. Yeah. This bit, they call it the World Showcase, all around the lake, and they've got like a dozen countries or something, maybe seven countries, or representing different cultures around the world. I think there's America, England, Canada, France, Japan, Norway. It's really good just to show them. And in how... England, they've got like a pub and stuff like that, no. haven't they? Let's go in a pub. Let's have a go. Finally, someone who will understand what I'm saying. So are you excited to see Santa? Yeah. Okay, are you gonna give him some wishes about what you want? I'm gonna poop on his head. You're, you're gonna poop on his head? Yeah. I don't know if you'll like that. Maybe get your wish out of the way first, see if he agrees with it, and then maybe see if you wanna poop on his head. He's down there. <laughs> Is he? Yeah. You he just did it on him, did yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> this will be interesting. I really hope he doesn't. Don't, please don't do that. And clearly Sam is exhilarated at the prospect of asking well, Santa for something as well. Daddy, what are you gonna ask him for? Um, Take your time, it's an important decision. My love and humanity. Your love and humanity. <laughs> Haven't you got it already? No. Or by taking it from you now. <laughs> I know Santa's not real and stuff, but this is ridiculous. Come on. Don't no. make an effort and have someone dress up. Let's go and find the real one. We're on the hunt for the dude. It turns out he's left England and he's over settled in America. Kind of like we have at the moment, I can't blame him. It's nicer weather in Florida at the moment, so no wonder he'd come here. He wants to sit around in the cold of England right now. If you're in England right now, I'm sincerely sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I love it, it's really warm here. To America. Right, we're in America, within America. I'm guessing the big man's in here. So Jojo decided to pull out. Santa's just over there, sitting there with Mrs. Claus, and there's a very, very, very big queue, which Jojo did not want to wait for. Santa's in high demand, no joke. We should have stuck with the guy in England, Father Christmas. I mean, he was a town crier guy, and he was just shouting about in the streets, but he would have been better, and he was dressed in green, so. So instead, we're gonna go on a ride, test track, fast car ride. Vroom, vroom. Faster than any magic sleigh. Oh, Jojo's sad. Why are you sad? Because he's such a beautiful Father Christmas. I'm so right, but we can't go on test track. Oh, he's not that sad then. You really wanted to meet Santa though, didn't you? Yeah, but a car's faster than a sleigh. This is the sleigh's colour. Cool. Those of you 
you that parents will know that when you promise your kids something and for whatever reason it just doesn't pan out and you end up having to cancel, you have to think very quickly on your feet. But just in this case, it was like, oh, um, no Santa, uh, how about this fun ride uh, with a car and that? And luckily Jojo was excited about that, but I think we got away with it. survived that. <laughs> Is that good mate? Good. <laughs> that was, you got a funny hair too. You think my funny hair suits me? It suits you? Yeah. Anyway. Is that good? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Is it better than seeing Santa? Yeah. <laughs> What's your hair like? What are you laughing about? Luckily I tied it back. <laughs> Look at Sam, just casual in the front. The funny thing was, all of those cars that we decided to like design beforehand, we couldn't find Sam's one, but I think that's karma because he designed one just for him. He couldn't even fit me in. Oh yeah, I like Sam's He car. couldn't fit two people in. It, had, it was a one-person driver. I would actually buy and drive that car. Well, I'll get you one for your birthday, all right? <laughs> my birthday suit. No, it isn't. What's going on in here? I want to go to my hotel. Take me home. <laughs> Oh, we're home. Oh, this is a nice car. Normally they have like gift shops that just sell you stuff to do the ride. Now this is a bit ridiculous, isn't it? This Finish one. the ride by a whole car. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed our vlog today. Just a few quick shout outs before we end this video. Shout out to Lewis Self. You wanted a shout out from Jamie, but Jamie's not here, so you're stuck with us lot. Sam, give him a shout out. Yeah. Yeah. Also, shout out to Ellie XOXO, who has just gone way beyond saying, same request of shout outs and ask for one from Donald Duck. So, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed watching this video, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye. Bonkers. Bonkers, yes.